everyone welcome to this first uh, youtube video uh, throughout ramadan i've been posting videos on my uh, status and everyone that has seen them was continuously asking how i made this and how i made that and just my daily recipes that i just take pictures of and put on there so along with my friends and family and my lovely sister here who's videoing uh, we decided that we will make uh, youtube videos and post them out for my friends and family and anyone else who wants to see how i turn uh, some recipes into quick and easy meals and uh, shortcut some things so we will start with some uh, well today we're going to make a lentil soup now i have made many versions of this and i have tried many versions of this when i have been traveling here and there and uh, i tried to make it um so we will start with some olive oil in a pan i've got this clay pot that i like to cook the soup in not too much just enough that will um, cook these onions so it's one medium sized onion that I've just chopped and we will put it onto the stove. Once that has become like um, uh, transparent not golden or anything but just a bit see-through and soft I will add in the other things now I have got here one cup of um, red lentils that is also just plain dal, masoor dal and it's just called uh, um, just lentils I think. So in that one cup, it's not a full cup, I will add about, um, so in all, all in all we're making a full cup. So three quarters of it is the red lentils and I'll put about two spoons of uh, cracked wheat, fine cracked wheat, and a little bit of rice. So it's nearly up to a full cup, and that is it. We will wash them drained. I don't have to soak it. What I am going to do this with this is I'm going to grind it into a kind of a paste, coarse paste in uh, the magic bullet, or you can use the hand blender, but I don't have one whilst it's cooking. So I'll just put all this in here. And with a little bit of water, I'll grind it in there. And this um, is the one that tastes the best, I, I, I felt. Put a little bit of water in there. Doesn't have to be a fine paste. And some salt. About a teaspoon. A bit less than a teaspoon because we're going to be adding this um any kind of cube you've got chicken or if you've got some chicken uh stock left over if you boil some chicken and you've got some chicken soup stock left over um you can even add that and then you don't need this cube it just makes it taste a lot nicer so the onions are a bit softer not as soft as i need them though so I'll let them cook a bit longer I've got some here I've got some tomato paste it's um, not the tomato tin it's actually a tin with the paste in it so I normally get the big tin and then I make it into small portions and freeze it as and when I need it so it's about just a bit more than a teaspoon put that in with the onions we will put some mint in here just about a teaspoon of mint as well because we're going to add in some more at the end a teaspoon of dried mint you can put fresh mint in if you don't have dried mint just put in the leaves in get a, like a, a good handful because they, they'll be a lot less stronger than the the dried one and now we can just put in our mixture that we ground up Reduce the heat a little bit so it starts to stick. I'm just um, sauteing all this 
and then whilst we are doing this have the kettle on boiling almost full kettle and put some uh, black pepper in here freshly ground carry on cooking this like this till the kettle has boiled we put in our stock cube as well now it's much better if you make your own uh, stock though to, uh, with uh, chicken or meat boil kettle water in here i'm just going to add it just gonna give it a mix because it's a bit clumpy now if you don't have a, a grinder magic bullet or the hand one that you can just grind in here you can you can make it without them and just cook it for longer that's how i made it as well and it still turns out nicer but you have to cook it for a lot longer and keep adding water to it so, everyone who asked me for this soup recipe do try it even though I did uh, message some of you the recipe it wasn't as detailed as this so we're just going to let this cook now all in all I put the the kettle water that was 1.7 liters uh, was the water that this took this pan and easily it'll serve six people so we're just gonna cook it on here it does bubble over so I'm going to get the lid for me I'm just gonna put the lid on but I leave it um not fully covered because we had a big accident yesterday and it bubbled over everywhere so just like this then I can see it and then once it starts bubbling I will reduce it right down this is only a small pan put some uh, this is ghee in here uh, homemade or just normal butter and I'm going to temper the soup with a bit of paprika and some more mint and that's it and towards the end I will drizzle it over the soup and just before serving like it spicier so can put a tiny bit of chili flakes in and then also put them at the table so if anybody wants more they can put it in their own plate after 15 minutes it looks like this our soup so i think i'm gonna have to put a bit more water in so i've added more water in and after half an hour it looks like this so you can still see the grains of rice in there it's almost cooked I'm going to add some ghee in there and paprika near enough to a level teaspoon and some mint again about a teaspoon sometimes I put these in and sometimes I don't it makes it quite spicy so just a few chili flakes I also uh, put in some lemon juice in the actual uh, cooking pot where the soup is cooking but you can also put it on the serving table so this is the tempering for the dal soup lentil soup I'm gonna wait till it starts bubbling and that's cooking nicely as well Right, this is nearly ready now. So we're going to just pour this directly over. Oh, 
and put this on low and after a while all that buttery tempering that we've just added will come right to the top so now we're ready to serve our soup look it's still bubbling it looks so nice baked in the oven some garlic bread that we just bought from the shops so when we're putting the soup in put some uh, butter in from the top as well so everyone gets some butter and you can serve it with your bread and lemon as well